it's me Bethany and today I'm doing my very first tutorial in my series Flips and Tricks with Bethany. Today I'm going to do the Holly Request Back Handspring Tutorial and I am on a trampoline because I don't have it sadly on the floor yet. Here's a demonstration of what a back handspring is. Now you guys are probably here to figure out how to get over the fear of a back handspring. How I go over my fears, I got my dad to spot me once every night for 15 minutes and he would just spot me on my back, he would pull my lights over and eventually when he wasn't spotting me at all, I did it. The most important thing to do before you try your back handspring is to stretch. You want to stretch your wrist, your back, and your ankles. Another really important thing to do before trying your back handspring is to set. And the set is called where you do everything like in the back handspring but the flipping part. So nothing you'll be scared of to do. So what you do in your back handspring is usually you'll sit in your chair and swing your arms back and you'll jump back. And you need to make sure you're straight so that wasn't straight. It's just like this. When I first learned my back handspring, I learned by landing on my knees. Now this is not what you want to do. That's how I learned, so that's bad. Because I had a fear, I had a fear that I was going to smash my toes when I tried to land on my feet. So I always landed like this. And that's not actually not a very safe way to land also. So that's not very good. And if you are doing that, you need to do these drills. So one of the drills is push-ups. One of the drills is push-ups. And another drill that I did that helped a lot is a handstand snap. Looks like this. Once you got them perfected, this is when you're gonna try your back handspring. You have to get over the fear of doing the back handspring. So, remember, you wanna swing your arms back, sit in your chair, and jump backwards, and you wanna rebound. And you also really, this is really important, you wanna push out of your shoulders. That's what those drills were for. You need to push out of your shoulders to land on your feet, or else you'll land on your knees, might hurt your back or your neck, and you could do a lot of things if you don't do that. Hands out, seat, back, and rebound. And then you want to land with your hands out or up at your ears because, like, this is not pretty. It's not pretty. Just no. No! Okay. You're going to sit in your chair. Rebound. Hope you enjoyed and congrats if you got your back hands break. And remember to comment down below what tutorial you want next and like this video. And on the cat here, I'll say bye. One, two, three. Wait, one, two.